some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Gainesville, Florida, where police respond to an incident at a veterans hospital where a soft hard with an attitude and a live firearm refuses to leave the hospital. So Mr. Sparky makes an appearance and the soft heart winds up feeling the power in his family jewels. So at any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. They just dilated, so don't, I don't know what to do. Hey, man. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I understand. So, uh, and I agree. I'm, I'm totally for your Second Amendment rights, but when you're seen at a vet center or you're on federal property, you know as a vet you can't have a weapon on federal property. Pardon me, officer, but you're making way too much sense for this soft heart. You got to get down to his level, but unfortunately, I mean, none of us can have that ability to do so. These guys are completely irrational at times. Where is that? It's on my person. Okay. You mind standing up and letting us retrieve it? And please do me a favor. Please well, don't act you like you're. Happen if I, take it out and put it I would rather you did not so because I'm that. Ready. You, ready, you stand up, put your hands on the window, okay, and let us and tell us where it's at. And I'm just gonna hand. It. No, no I, don't do that. I will kill you. You understand? What's out, Gary? Get back. Get back. Put that gun down. I am. Put it down! Just put put it the down. gun down! Jesus Christ! Get up! Not exactly a smart move, dude. They ask you not to reach for your firearm, and yet you do it anyway. This could have ended in such disaster. So I guess consuming all those lead paint chips, in addition to reading all that soft hard material, didn't exactly help your uh, ability to... Make intelligent decisions for yourself. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. There it is. Now we're not going to retrieve it. You're going to get up and do what we think. I'm not, I, look, I'm not, I'm not getting on my knees. I'm not getting on the ground or nothing like that. You want it? Stop. There it is. Stop reaching for it. I'm Gary? I'm reaching for anything. Gary. Okay, if uh, you didn't touch it, if you didn't try to handle it, then how did it end up in the seat right beside you? Because, you know, you had to have manipulated it in some way for it to end up there. I mean, those things just don't grow legs and uh, walk away themselves. He's going if to, if you don't get on the ground, I'm going to tase I'm you. Getting on the ground. I'm going to tase you if you don't. Stand up. Go ahead, and you're getting arrested. I will not get arrested. I promise you I will not. Maybe. Get up, get away from the gun, and lay down on your face. I am not laying get up. down on the fucking ground. Look, sir, we're trying to, to get it. Hey, we're trying to de-escalate today, but I need you to comply with it. <laughs> I'm okay. not getting on the ground. I've okay. got too much arthritis to be living on the ground hey, like a kid. Me. Oh, that explains your behavior right here. You don't want to be treated like a petulant little child. Well, I got a simple solution for you. Don't be a soft-tard moron. Stop reading all those stupid little pamphlets that you come across related to that topic. They've done poisoned your brain. Can you listen to me for a second so we can de-escalate this? We can get our hands off. There it is, right All there. Right. We're not going to reach her because you're way near us. It's a very confined so space. What I need you to do? Um, I need you to get up. I'm not sure yet. There's three of us up. here. Okay, right where I'm at. You want that gun? You come and get it. I'm staying right here. I'm not moving. I'm not sitting on the ground. I'm not crawling around like a kid. 
You keep on going back to this child issue. Do you actually see yourself as a child? Because at this point, you are certainly acting like a spoiled little brat, which is probably why the uh, officer decided to put the uh, firearm away and bring out Mr. Sparky. So you want to you want to escalate? You want to escalate? I'm sitting get here. I'm Please not getting get up, up, and I'm not going anywhere. There's a gun. I'm not reaching for it. You take it. I think it will. What do you want to do, Gary? It's your facility. Will you stand up? No, and go I'm not. The window? No, I'm so not. You understand there how it close is right there. You want to get it. We're not going to risk it. our lives for you to reach get for the it. gun as soon as we come. You're on. not risking your life. I'm not reaching for it. Okay. Let me ask you. We're going to ask I'm not doing time. anything. But Are you going to comply? Here. So if you want the gun, you come over and take it. Are you going to I'm comply? not doing You're gonna anything. Get, I am not doing anything aggressive towards Stand up. People. It's your last they warning. It's the last time I'm going to tell you. Keep it up. It's the last time I'm going to tell you. Keep escalating. Keep escalating. Yeah, you there ready? There will be a lawsuit with all three of you. This idiot definitely has the Sovtard script memorized. I mean, he's threatening lawsuits in a situation that he definitely created. Uh, yeah. Good luck with that. Are you ready, Gary? I'm ready. Stand up. Last warning. I am not... Why? You're not doing anything. Get up. Get up. Get up. Watch out, Louie. Get up. Get up. Get on the f***ing Stop. 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 Hey, Hit him again. Stop. Come here. Stop. Stop. Hey, stop. Listen to me. Stop. I'm not doing anything. Disengage, Louie. Disengage. Disengage. I'm not Disengage. doing anything. If you don't get up, I'm going to tase you again. Get up. I'm not doing anything. Get up. Put your hands behind your back. Ah, you mother... Ooh, Taser Prongs versus Family Jewels. That's not exactly gonna feel good for a while, dude. What the f are you doing, man? What is your problem? Put your hand behind your back. <laughs> okay, mother. You got it. Okay. Hey, stop. You know, we're fighting a little bit. Just got tased. What are you fucking doing? Stand yeah, by. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? You didn't comply to a lawful order, that's why. Uh, uh, I don't have to comply with yes, you. Yes, you do. Especially this when you're armed. With me. Okay? You were an armed subject at this point. In a federal uh, building. In a federal building. Yeah, so? Well, well, there you go. He went further down the soft hard rabbit hole by saying outright that he doesn't have to comply with lawful orders. This makes me think I should just go ahead and print out a soft tart bingo card. I mean, if they're going to play games, I might as well play the bingo game myself to see if I win. And I pay you for right, salary. Alright, what's one taste? I pay you for salary. So do I. What? I really doubt that you even pay taxes to begin with because, you know what, a lot of the sovereign citizens I've seen are uh, tax dodgers anyway. Where's the freaking... Right here. I got it. Here you go, Gary. Do you want to take this or what? I can't. I mean, you I can't? Can, Do you I have anything that's going to hurt me and sick me? I can... Hey! Well, I mean, I don't mind that. Yeah, I mean, um, we, can, we can... I can transfer the PC to you. It's going to be in a federal building. So y'all can act on it at, 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 at the state level. You won't... You won't make the arrest on the federal side? I could. Yeah. Let me run it by the... Let me run it by the... I have no issue here. Now, you tell me. At all. I gotta... I gotta make a phone call. That's <laughs> making an arrest. Yeah, I know. I used to do it in DES. Yeah, yeah. Let me help you get violating my constitutional rights. Just leave him on the ground, Louie. Just leave him there. Now what? Now what? You gonna drag me around? Nope. Okay. What the f are you doing? I'm Michael searching one. for more weapons. <laughs> I told you what I had, asshole. 
Seriously, dude? Are they really supposed to take your word for that, considering that uh, you defied numerous uh, lawful orders and uh, acted like a complete buffoon throughout this whole incident? Yeah, sure, they're going to take your word for it. That would be a wonderful thing in your own twisted little mind, but not in reality. We're 10 for you. can clear the channel as long as 528's around. And you, mother, that laser, what's your name? Divinny. What? What's your what's your badge number? What's your badge number, asshole? Oh, what's your badge number? Three four six. All right, we're gonna get it. I need a supervisor here. Yeah. Okay. You're, you're in trouble, mother. No, I'm really not. Right. Now what are you gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand you up and sit you in this chair right here. Hold on, Louis. In the chair, right there. Sit down. You keep manhandling him, mother. Yeah, and I am, because yeah. that's my job. Yeah? I'll tase you again if you don't stop. I'm not doing anything wrong, you hey, f***ing hey, asshole! Hey. Stop. Stop, woman, what are you doing? Stop. Why are you guys escalating this shit? Huh? Are you not comprehending what's happening here? <laughs> what are you mean talking about? I have a constitutional right to sit here and not have to comply with you. No, you don't. Yeah, yeah I would argue that you, much like your soft heart, Brethren, have a severe misunderstanding of how the Constitution works. I mean, that's uh, obvious from the way you're talking. Yeah, it is not the law that says that I have to do what you said. You have a warrant for me? Hey, Gary, come stand here. You Let got me a call warrant the boss for me? Oh, I got a supervisor. That's fine. You got a warrant for me? Yep. Where? You Show me. You just <sighs> Show me your fucking warrant. I'm being armed in a federal Oh, okay, not complying. That's twice you tased me, you asshole. I know. I did. I gave you my gun. Uh, no. All you did was reach for your gun, put it right beside you, and left it there. Uh, that could be construed as something entirely different. We're gonna go to jail. I told you. I'm not We're just trying to figure out who's doing it because, because it's apparently I, I a felony to bring a firearm like into a, a federal facility. Now. I got Gary Boothby here with breathing. me from the VA. With breathing. So. But you, but you have to escalate. It is on VA's property. You just had to do something. Tell him I've got you just it. had to show your power, man. He, he is asking his supervisor. There's a. I know from DEA. There's a process yeah. with a. An you actual arrest in federal court because you have to do a, a criminal complaint and then you have to do a first appearance. And we don't have the judges for it here in Gainesville, so he's trying to make a ruling. So he's going to try to have us do a hold and then he will have to do an indictment probably. But and you guys fucking escalate this bullshit. Okay. have any other weapons, right? I I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. But just to, to get you up to speed about why we did what we did, he wouldn't stand up. He, re he almost got shot. Okay, let's review my video. He pulled his fucking gun out, and then he put it down in the seat beside him, wouldn't stand up. So the decision was made to tase him because we were within probably 15 feet. And then it didn't have the one any effect because he's wearing a jacket. So then we hit him again up front and then held him under power. You got him under uh, to... Uh, on the ground handcuffed. Okay, the officer just confirmed it. The uh, Sovtar just took a uh, jolt to the balls. I think he's a sovereign. Oh my goodness, dude. Do you see this? He actually has paper with the word ID on it to try to pass it off as some kind of identification card. Oh my goodness, this is truly a soft hard thing to do. This is a perfect example of that willingness to create very pathetic fake ID cards. This is just too damn funny. It's like no ID on them at all. He's got papers with ID written on it. I have a question for you. Do you consider yourself a sovereign citizen? 
Yes, I did. Okay. I had to explain. Oh, 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 wow. All right. Oh. Now what? I'm just curious. Oh, wow. 24 yeah. computer. Well, at least he admits to being a dumbass. Resisting without statewide. Uh, but what, 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 what? Who resisted? You did. I didn't resist. You failed to comply? I didn't, I didn't resist. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. There is no law that says failure to comply. Dude, there is really no excuse for your stupidity. I mean, you could have looked up this law very easily. I look up laws all the time for the state of Florida. It doesn't take that long. So that's where I'm going to end the video right here, folks. I mean, this is pretty much it. I mean, this guy was just a complete ignoramus. This whole situation could have been avoided if he had at least the slightest bit of common sense. But that's too much to ask from a softard. Oh well. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.